but there it is. All the way from Camp Bastion from Afghanistan. Pretty much brand new this one. Needed a little bit of a clean but nothing major. And she's good as new. Four litres of paraffin or baby oil. If you want to put baby oil in there it will do the same sort of job. It might smell nicer too. <laughs> and of course it's important that these things are level. Um, they really really are. So do your best. And why not make use of technology. I just got the app on my phone there with spirit level and the bubbles come out right in the middle which is where it should be so I'm very very happy with that because um, we're quite exposed up here we really really are it's um, on the top of a hill and the, with the wind chill it's, it's forecast at minus 5 tonight so how true that is we just don't know but best safe than sorry well just um, quickly setting up camp now um, it didn't take too long um, Roach beat me in fairness I think he's done this a few more times than I have so I'm still learning the ropes. Um, you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. I think some forest guys are busy sorting out some downs trees. Um, I've just done a little tiny modification on this, just so I can hold this um, flap open, so I can get in there and get everything set up. There's that BCB camp bed I'm gonna be trawling out for the first time. Um, I've just got um, my camp inflating mat underneath it. Good quality wool blanket doubled over and the modular sleep system which I bought off of um, Ken K Jumper 1 from the US of A now I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be sweating my ass off in here tonight um, so I'll probably just uh, sleep in my pants <laughs> if not I think I might just lose the bivy bag and one of the bags because as you guys know there's two bags in here the green one and the black one there's a the black one down there for when it's really really cold so I'm just going to trial it out, it's the first time I've ever used it and you learn by trying so I might be okay with just a green one, just a black one, I don't know yet but I don't think I'm going to be using the bivy bag. Um, on the floor of this um, tent I've just bought two parachute wraps which I got from Wilderness Leisure, one because they're very cheap and two because they're so tough I can literally just throw it down on the floor and not worry about anything puncturing it, nothing's going to puncture that. The only thing that's going to punch it out is a six inch nail sticking up, which I don't think you're going to find many of them out in the woods. Um, but do your homework, you know, just scatter around the floor to make sure that there's no real nasty hard spiky bits. And um, chuck them down and uh, you're good to go. Well what I've just done is I just rolled that flap up which is inside the tent. Because um, last time I didn't know really what I was doing, it was just hanging outside. It was a mess, so I've located the two loops rolled it up out of the way and um, pretty much rolled away the edges as well so it's loads of room I can pretty much walk around in there without banging my head tripod set up, the chain's there, we've got a nice little fire just starting there, we should be fine in about 10 minutes but we'll have a nice big blaze up on that. But as we see we were chopping up earlier. Mm. That's all organic as well, top drawer. Oh, should we just eat it now, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be adding all sorts of um, other things in there to make that taste super fine. Oh, I just love being outdoors. And some plum tomatoes in there as well. Oh, mate. Yeah, that does look nice.
Oh, this is a life. Nice to be away from traffic. The evenings are um, last a little bit longer now. But it's getting on a bit, and uh, yeah, we can still see pretty good. It's like you're right here with us. Nice and warm that fire, isn't it? Mmm. Guess what? We got some dumplings in there. If you can see that for all the bloody smoke, because it's very, very cold <laughs> out here, but it's very, very warm in there, if you know what I mean. But yeah, they've swollen up a treat, Mike. Can look at that? Roaches, turbo dumplings, <laughs> rocket fuel for humans. <laughs> look at that. Well, look at that. You can see how cold it is. It's proper chilly. So, we're gonna turn that up, press the button, which is gonna um, heat the coil up, hopefully. We should have flame in there. Yeah, it's just starting now. So we're going to give it about 10 minutes or so to do its thing. Then I'm going to come back and uh, regulate the uh, the wheel there to get the temperature just right, get the flame right. And we're going to see <laughs> if that two degrees goes up. And um, for ventilation, there's a few little bits um, around the back of the um, tent. Um, for small ventilation, but at the front, I've probably got about a foot um, space at the bottom of the tent, going up about five foot to a point. So there's, there's a bit of airflow in there, so we're not going to get um, carbon monoxide problems. So we're going to um, come back in a while and see how we get on. Fancy a cup of tea? I got one. I'm talking to the camera. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you're not alone, you guys. <sighs> I managed to get most of the uh, Teflon coating off of my mug. And it was a chore, believe you me. Is every um, corrosive chemical known to mankind went in there, and uh, <laughs> I've put fire dragon in there to burn it off. I've put grit in there and sand and smashed the hell out of it. Sandpaper, wire wall, you name it, I've had a go. And there's only a few bits left in there. So over time, I'm going to hope to get it all off. This is really nice. Temperature's dropping, I think we're around one to three degrees, somewhere around there. There's no visible frost anywhere yet. There's no wind. Clear skies, stars everywhere. We've got um, no canopies whatsoever, bare trees everywhere, no evergreens. 
It's a still crisp winter's evening. Wouldn't have it any other way, mate. I mean, how can you lose with a big fire pit like that? <laughs> I started to think how hot it is in the tent at the moment. Well, Roach has gone to bed now. And it's, uh, it's getting on a bit. But I've just been uh, kicking back with my cup of tea in front of that lovely fire. <sighs> I'm sorry there hasn't been much footage of um, day one in the afternoon. Um, to be honest, it's taken quite a lot of time um, setting the tents up, camoing it over the truck. I wanted to do it all half decent so I took my time and then obviously we cooked the stew we mucked in and done this that and the other and then filmed a lot but um, now that it's all set up um, should be doing some more footage and stuff which you'll see tomorrow on day two so um, I hope we're having a nice time because it's uh, freaking cold but um, it's nice no, it really is I've missed this I bloody needed this actually after what's happened lately Just a tonic, it really is. And to see all the, the stars in the clear night sky. We've got a lot of owls, as you can probably hear in the background. You're not alone. <laughs> there were some foxes barking earlier on um, a field probably about 300 yards away. And um, yeah, it's just really nice to be with nature, you know, away from all of the urban bullshit. It really is get away from it all you know so I probably won't be doing much more filming after this so if I don't see her in the meantime I'll see you in the morning or night well it got up to 13 degrees in no time and it feels a lot warmer in here actually considering it's like I don't know one or two degrees outside it's frigging cold Nah, it's a fantastic piece of kit. It's making this camp so much more nice. <laughs> it really is. Fantastic. And as I said before, um, regarding ventilation for the paraffin, you don't want to be closed in in a place like this. So we've got that. It's going to be staying open all night long. The front of the tent there. And also, there's some ventilation there as well. There's a few other places like that around there. Don't want to be taking no chances because carbon monoxide can kill and you were never going to wake up. Climbing in. Hot, hot, hot.